So today we're at, uh, doing the South Lawson Waterfall Walk. This is a relatively short, relatively easy walk. It is a dog friendly walk because it's in Council Reserve, not National Park. Should take you around about two hours to do the walk. Um, and it's just shy of, of three kilometres as, as a loop track. Um, there are five waterfalls on this walk and it's a lot of fun. Um, can be done in pretty much any conditions because it's a really good track. So a very short walk down from the car park and we get to our first intersection. Take this path here on the right, it'll take you through to Lawson and the dog park. We're going to take the path down here in front of us, which is going to take us to our first fall, Adelina Fall. We're going to do the loop track in an uh, anti-clockwise direction. Um, if you chose to take the path on your left, it'll take you through to Cataract Falls and that would be your first fall. For us it's going to be our exit track. Let's go down to Adelina. Just letting you know, this is a kid-friendly walk. We're currently the, pretty much the only lookout that there is on this track. Off to my right is Adelina Falls and it's looking like it's flowing really well today. I'm gonna go and check them out. between Adelina Falls and Junction Falls does tend to get a bit squishy. Just make sure you wear shoes that you don't mind getting a bit muddy. We're just about to head down the descent into Junction Falls. There are two falls down there, so make sure you check out both the left and the right falls. So from this part of the descent down to Junction Falls, there are a lot of steps that can be quite slippery. There are some handrails, so make use of them. So the bottom of the stairs sees us at Junction Falls. Of course, it's called Junction Falls because it's the meeting of two creeks. We're going to check out the left-hand waterfall first. We can head across the bridge here now and check out the other sections like Junction Falls. So that's the King Falls to Junction Falls. Short walk coming up down to Federal Falls. Junction. The stairs behind me, they're part of our exit track and take us up to Cataract Falls. We're going to follow the path down in front. It's an in and out track down to Federal Falls. Wow, how spectacular a Federal Falls. Just gorgeous. Federal Falls, we're going to head up to Cataract Falls. I'm not usually a fan of graffiti out in the wilderness, but 
this stuff is kind of really cool. It's obviously the historical markers. Lawson, further up the stairs, one and a half miles. Cataract Falls, half a mile. And we've just come from Federal Falls, 150 yards. How cool is it still having it in Imperial measurements? Just a few stairs. Another one of those little deviations that you can do off the track. Very pretty little cross-taping. So just arrived at pretty much the last junction. Gonna head down to Cataract Falls to our left here. Check them out. So here we are at the bottom of Cataract Falls. Nice little pool here, you can go for a swim on a warm summer's day. It's got a couple of levels, so we'll go up to that top level after and have a look at it as well. This here is a really pretty spot though. As mentioned at the start of this video, this is a dog friendly walk. Just keep them on a leash and they'll enjoy the walk as much as you do. We're just going to take this little deviation here to the left to the middle section of Cataract Falls. So here's the top cascade of Cataract Falls. Really, really pretty. So just finished one of my favourite walks in the mountains, the South Lawson Waterfall Circuit. Very, very pretty. Lots of waterfalls. Nice, easy walk. Only takes a couple of hours. About to head back along a nice, easy trail to the car park. Thanks for watching this video, please leave me a comment, hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel.